Backups are only so much good if you know how to get your information back from a backup when you lose it. So in this video, we're going to talk about how to restore from a backup. That means if I've deleted something from my computer or uh, somehow it was mysteriously erased, how am I going to get the information back from my hard drive that I've backed the information up using Time Machine? So on this computer, I have uh, already plugged in my hard drive and it's all ready to go. So I'm going to go to my Documents folder here. And I have a letter here to my friend Bob. I'm going to put it in the trash can by pressing Command Delete on my keyboard. And I'll open up the trash can so you can see this is trash can, letter to Bob. I'm going to say empty trash can. Are you sure you want to? Yes. You'll hear the sound of the trash can emptying. And now I no longer have a letter to Bob. But wait a minute. It turns out that was a mistake. I actually did need my letter to Bob because um, I wanted to send it to him again because he lost his copy or whatever. So, when disaster strikes, how do you get your information back? One of two ways to access Time Machine, you can either push the Time Machine icon on the dock down here, the program resides in your Applications folder here if it's not in your dock. Second way is uh, if you have your Time Machine icon on the menu bar at the top, you can click on that and say Enter Time Machine. Whether you choose the menu bar at the top here or the icon at the dock at the bottom works the same way. You click the button and it's going to bring you into this space-time continuum window uh, for that we call Time Machine. You'll see the window that I was looking at here. It says at the top, Letters to Friends. And then a bunch of iterations of the same window back through time, so to speak. Okay? So in this one it says the window we're looking at right now is today, right now. And you'll notice my letter to friends window is empty. I have no letter to Bob. On the right side, I can click the arrow here. And it's going to take me back to the last backup that I had where anything was different. In this case, this morning at, at 8.39 a.m., I have a letter to Bob here in my letter to friends folder. I'm going to go forward to now. It's empty. I'm going to go back to 8.39 a.m., and here's a letter to Bob. If uh, it's further back in time, you have kind of a timeline over here on the right where you can jump back to a particular day. Um, in this case, we just need to go back one day to get it. So I'm going to click one time on Letter to Bob. In the bottom right corner, I'm going to click Restore. And you'll hear the drop sound. And now notice that this is today that we're looking at. We're out of time machine. The space-time continuum is gone. This is my computer the way it is now, and here is my letter to Bob, and it's been brought back from my external hard drive and placed on my computer. So whenever you lose something from Time Machine, you accidentally erase something, or you uh, save it, but you meant to save as, and you need a previous version of something you were working on, just plug in your trusty Time Machine, go to your Time Machine icon here, and go back through time and get whatever it is that you need. You're safe.